morning kids, it's Mr. Ag here, and I'd like to um, record myself reading the, the test items to you so that you have uh, a way to access the, the, um, what, what it sounds like to read the words of each test item. So I'm going to lead you to opening the test and seeing the test and, and hearing the test, and you can stop and start the video as needed so you can hear it as many times as you need to hear it, and I don't have to interrupt people's thinking during our live session for you to hear the test. So um, first is accessing the test. So it's in this week's work in the green folder. You go into the math folder, and then today is Wednesday. We're taking part one of the test, and you see here it's an assignment. So this is something you will do on Cami, and you will turn in by Cami. So you'll open up the, um, the assignment here with Cami, and as you, um, as you see it, it's one page. It says mid-module assessment task at the top, and um, it's three questions on one page. Okay, so your job is going to be to complete all three questions. So it's uh, um, test questions that are similar to items that we've studied over the last 11 elect, uh, the last 11 lessons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by reading number one. So I'm going to read it out loud. I'm going to pause for a minute. If you need to hear it over and over and over again, that's fine. What you need to do is um, you would need to um, pause your video and then go back a little bit if you want to hear it again and listen to it again. If you want to hear it 20 times, you can do that as many times as you need to um, because we've got this here in a recorded format. So I'm going to start with number one. The carnival is in town for 21 days. How many weeks is the carnival in town? There are seven days in one week. Write an equation and solve. Number two. There are 48 liters of water needed to finish filling the dunk tank at the carnival. Each container holds 8 liters of water. How many containers are needed to finish filling the dunk tank? Represent the problem using multiplication and division sentences and a letter for the unknown. Solve. Number three. There are four rows of seven chairs set up for the magic show. A worker sees the large number of people lined up and doubles the number of rows and chairs. They are shown below. Explain and label to show how the array represents both 8 times 7 and 2 times quantity 4 times 7. If you need to hear any of these test items again, you can listen to them as many times as you need to. During our live session, I'll be giving you some tips um, on which, which words to underline, which are the important parts, and also where you can look in your workbook for problems that are like these problems. Good luck, do your best, and at the end, you will click the turn in button, and you'll have to click it again to make sure that I see it. The test is, this part of the test is due today. So I want you to be finishing it, hopefully, before the math, se math session ends. Good luck. Do your best, as usual.